Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we have a very interesting comparison today for you guys. This is actually part of your You Pick 2 2 2's day lineup, and it is already Friday, so expect a poll a little bit later on. Anyway, anyway, Bertle Fox versus Samson Douda, we have 80s versus today. This is a many decade different matchup, guys, so don't take it too seriously. Obviously, criteria is different, the uh, the training, the supplements, everything is different. So, it is going to be an uphill race, obviously, for the 80s guys. This pitcher of Bertle, maybe not the best. The angle does him no justice, because I'm here to tell you, this guy was a beast. Here's him, a close-up shot in 83. That was his best year. He got fifth at the Olympia. A lot of people said he should have won. Him and Samir Banu were, you know, I think he would have been happy with a second place even doing battle with Samir. Anyway, anyway, all, all uh, politics aside, this guy's arms are beating Samson's. Now, I'm, I'm sure I sized it incorrectly. There's no way that Bertle Fox had arms that big, right? Wow. Wowee. Here's the front lat spread. And, like I said, sizing is, is difficult. Difficult anyway, anyway. But when these guys from the 80s, they hold their knees quite straight. They don't bend them at all. You gotta kind of add an inch. Maybe even two. Maybe even two. I think Bertle was probably 5'8". Maybe 5'8". I think Samson's maybe 5'10". But having said that, guys, Bertle has a, a awesome muscle separation of that upper body. Samson, he battles back with superior width and yeah i mean this guy is a a barn door just like the tominator used to say ah, YouTube. that's my <laughs> that's my dominate here's the side chest that's actually my tominator impression not my arnold impression if you want to do arnold you have to talk like this you'd be more normal but don't be all crazy but i loved the tominator and dominator wasn't trying to to do a, an exact Arnold impression. He was trying to do a, a comical version of it. But anyway. Anyway. Shout out to Tominator. This Bertle Fox. He doesn't occupy the space of a Samson. And I'm sure the judges appreciate that. How Samson's, you know, he's, he's wide. He's wide. Like a Van Door. And uh, Van Halen? Eddie Van Halen? But anyway. anyway. The chest and the thickness of Bertel. It's not as wide, but he has that thick muscle. For sure. For sure. Side tricep is the exact same thing. You got Samson displaying that wheel. Obviously, his wheels are going to be a whole lot better. Bigger. That's one of the things when you go into the future. Wheels get bigger and better. Unless you are Tom Platts. In which case, I mean, it's a little unfair, isn't it? Tom Platts should be in the Guinness Book of World's record. The most dominant body part of any bodybuilder in the history of bodybuilding. And I guess Bertle Fox's tricep would be up there as well as his biceps. His entire arm would be up there because I have him beating Samson in that aspect. Go to the rear double. Go to the rear double. Now here is where Bertle Fox would be in trouble if it was an actual comparison. If it wasn't just for fun, you're having fun, aren't you? There's nothing wrong with something if it's fun, as long as it's not hurting someone. Of course, of course this 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 uh, comparison alone probably would be uh, offending some some people. And taking into consideration the uh, the murderous nature, murder, murderous nature of one of the participants. <laughs> Hey, if I didn't mention it, somebody would have in the comment section below. The condition of brutile Bertel is not up to par as far as Samson. But for the time, wasn't bad. They didn't have ripped, stroided glutes back in the 1980s. Well, some of them did a little bit later on. But who cares about stroided glutes? Here's the abs and thigh. And here's a... This is a good uh, clickbait uh, thumbnail I could put on here. As this shows a superiority 
of the guys from the 80s, baby, please. This is unbelievable. Look at that. That is a crisp, fresh abs and thigh from a mass monster. The mass monsters had the best abs and thighs in the 80s, baby, please. Prapa! Buck, buck! Uh, Louis never did that buck, buck. That's a Mark's Max Muscle original, I'm here to tell you. Most muscular. Now here's the dominance for Samson. And it's obvious, guys. Look at the delts. Another thing that grew over time. Delts. Delts. The wheels, for sure. Another one. I mean, arms are no better now. I don't think if you're using Bertle. Fox, as an example. And calves are definitely no better. In fact, calves, abs, were better back then. I guess your backs are better now. So, the, the, these two dudes, a perfect example of the evolution of bodybuilding. Those guys in the 80s, man, they can really hold their own against these modern-day competitors in terms of certain muscle groups. hoo Look at Bertle here. He looks like he means business. Look at the big, thick pectorals of this man. He means business. He should have won the Olympia in 1983. He should have placed like second, second or third. Mohammed McAway, are you kidding me? And I didn't mean to laugh earlier, people. The loss of a life is never a funny thing, but I'm going to die someday. And if somebody does get a kick out of it, they shoot me out of a cannon or something like that. Hey, <laughs> my old physique or my corpse. There goes the cadaver. And I would pre-record that Goofy Holler. Remember Goofy from uh, the Disney cartoons? He goes, <laughs> Something like that, except it's funnier. Anyway, 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 hit thumbs up on the video, guys. That is just atrocious. That is just atrocious. He's a free man now, you know. He's a free man. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Maybe he was innocent. In which case... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go in there and argue about it. But anyway, anyway, sensitive subjects will not be taking place on this video. Have a great one, guys.